only the finest goods here. See for yourself. His father may have been a butcher, but some kind of odd is unusual. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see. Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching his sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Don't pass up these goods. Buy what you need, leave the rest. Drops of blood bleeding away. Take a look at these wares. Don't pass up these goods. No, don't you seem fresh faced and ready for anything? Every season, the machines come us in. More blood. I'm still in the. This place. Smells like nothing I've ever seen before. Mark my words. Is that some kind of spice? Like a friendly face after a long day's work. Still more blood. The thief got cut pretty bad. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself for years and Someone now must have seen the our weapons and smile. Won't cost you a shard just to look. Don't pass up these goods. Do all Nora dress in such a rustic fashion? Or is that just personal style? Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth! I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage! Fine goods, seems fair full price. Of smiles. Check out these wares. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. You're looking for artifacts? Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to Ben Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures, made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures mere painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero, and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. You ready? Let's trade then.
come on back if you find any Banuk goods. Found any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander? Come take a look. If a thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Fine goods for a fair price. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. That must be the spire. It's huge. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. This fire has to be a trick. It looks like the thief got away. But without the sword, I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it! Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but alright. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. I've got all the best goods here. Take a look at these wares. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. I didn't believe the stories, but they're true. The Nora do dress like savages. I've got all the best goods here. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Won't cost you a shard just to look. Take a look at these wares. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Sun King of Ab freed the people his father enslaved. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. Won't find better wares. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Found any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander? Attack now and finish them. The sun is displaced. Is it any wonder the corruption spreads? Cards may like this. This 
see a group of Osram are mining scrap from the old ones, somewhere up north. If you teach the Karja nothing else, be able my soul to teach them at all. The Sundom is very different. Get much hotter, I hope. Fair prices. Won't cost you a job. Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no bucket for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which... Um, no market for a snap maw lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. 
old-fashioned, plain hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well? There are blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court. Like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap ma lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap ma lens, what do you say? I drove her off? <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, bring us your medal. Scroungers? What kind of brutes are you trying to attract? Fair we price. Were I should be calling. I promise. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Here's what I don't get about this Sunday. Check out these wares. Decorations everywhere. It's downright embarrassing. We all have our place in the order of things. You'll like what I have for you, I promise. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Nice and bright out. Only the fun. Buy what you need, leave the rest. Clear that up later. Keep that for later. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat, or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death. 
still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them. Of wealth and contentment. While people beneath him suffer. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Good. I can use this.
like there was a scuffle here. But no bother. If someone dragged Nassan off, there should be tracks. Well, here we are. Let's see where they went. I need this. The Shadow Carja outpost. Let's hope Nassan is inside. Just stay out of their way for now. The ceasefire is but a trick, so we can attack under cover of shadow.
Someone here? Calm. Got someone over here. Doesn't look good.
shot! Remember to flip by the sun! task. Looks like I'm clear. Nothing. Not even their shadow. Sit back, could still be out there. Stay sharp, fly like a watch. I found this. You can see them, they can't see you.
Shadow into sun. Our time will come. <laughs>
We've got Nassan, all right. He needs help. Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple, since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. With your mother. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I don't mind breaking a few of his bones. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? Hmm, he's got spirit. Might take seven. All right. I'm taking wagers. Hmm? Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. With your mother. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I don't mind breaking a few of his bones. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? Hmm, he's got spirit. Might take seven. All right. I'm taking wagers. Hmm? Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. With your mother. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I don't mind breaking a few of his bones. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? He's got spirit. Might take seven. All right. I'm taking wagers. Hmm? Machines have grown more dangerous, but no more dangerous than we are. Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. With your mother. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My Another mother day. loves a good picnic. Be well, that as it hold. may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I don't mind breaking a few of his bones. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? Mm, so He's got spirit. Might take seven. All right. 
I'm taking wagers. Hmm? Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. With your mother. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I don't mind breaking a few of his bones. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? Gonna make you sick. No, or I'll take that again. Oh, oh. Something broke. Bad. Search party starts now.
I can't spare the weight. Kinji, you've sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way. Can't carry more.
Kindiv told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? <sighs> but after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. Teach us who's new at you. A man named Nissan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow, and you'll find the flame. Look of you. I bet you're a machine hunter too. 
I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the Hunter's Lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. What's wrong with the Hunting Lodge, exactly? Nothing, if you like stuck-up bigots. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur, so I thought I'd try my luck at the Lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the Karja at the head of the line. <laughs> I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Are you saying that you have to be Karja to join the Lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep Outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the New Day, Meridian, open to all. But it's a sham. Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the Lodge. Maybe. But it isn't gonna be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. A Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. Nora, I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sunring? Oh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well... I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. While Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. What kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, Call to the machine spirits, I understand. 
They need no beckoning. Clint Hawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all.
studied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family. What's their story? But I'm not choosy. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur. In the ice. Trying to have a conversation. It's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, Nora girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. This is the Hunter's Lodge. Only members and invited guests are allowed in. How do I get invited? You've come all the way from the Savage East, right? You must have come across some of our hunting grounds. Each one has a set of hunting trials. If you pass a trial, you get an award called a Half Sun. Win three, and I'll let you in. Now off you go.
the best goods here. Here's to a bot, huh? We may dress it. He's made a place in the cell. Take a look at these wares. There's plenty of work here. Let's have it. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows, but some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. A moment of your time, Outlander? Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes. And 